different. Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for joining us. And two stingy defenses tonight. Brian, hard to see how either team is going to put up points. An old school type game, Blake. And I love it because these are two very tough teams. They both play very hard. And a tall mindset will be so important tonight. Being patient that offensively things will work out you gotta remember too you're gonna fail offensively defending is too good so quickly forget your misses remember points are gonna be hard to come by so the coaches will try to stop any runs quickly with timeouts Charles no good you see defenders afraid to get in her way a lot of times when she's on her way to the bucket but not that time poked away Boyd with the steal. Freeland grabs the miss. You know, typically she has the touch to finish when she's in that tight. Not sure what happened there. Always looking to make an impact. McCutcheon uses her attacking mindset to out-muscle the competition. Now here's Boyd. To the left wing. Here's Allen. Over McCautry. And again, it's the Liberty missing. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Outside Hayes. Six to shoot. Pass to Williams. Montgomery. The three is up. And that's collected by Tina Charles. Here's Allen. Yo, look this way. Outside Boyd. Zowie B with it. Montgomery covering. Up top, Zowie B. Here's Allen. New York, no good that time either. Four straight misses to start the game. Not looking good for them. Here's McCautry. Her second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. A hungry, driven player. McCautry has put in the hours timeout, timeout. to maximize her potential. New York calls timeout. Few players bring their team together like Angel McCautry does. A supportive team. She really knows how to get the best out of every member of her squad.
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Outside Charles. Nurse outside. Just five to shoot. To the paint. Boyd. It's good. Big basket there. The fifth time's the charm, am I right? Atlanta leading. Montgomery outside. Inside. Hayes. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. As a big, sometimes your height is a huge help passing-wise. It allows players like Williams to get a clear view of open players. Now here's Boyd. Nurse outside. Over Hayes. The shot by Nurse, no good. You just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. Williams, the layup off target. And it's New York's ball. Down low, Charles. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. What power from Charles to get the hoop. And remember, she has great touch, too. It's a really rare combo. Well, Tina Charles has had lots of great years in the league. But 2012 was arguably her finest. Charles averaged a double-double, garnering MVP honors for Connecticut. For Charles in 2012, winning MVP in just her third year in the league. And guys, she carried Connecticut, leading the team in points, rebounds, and blocks. And she helped the Sun finish 25 and 9, owning the best record in these. In transition, here come the Liberty. Here's Boyd. The teardrop falls in. Look at the soft touch. Just a gentle little teardrop. Atlanta trailing here. Now Hayes. From 11 feet away, up again. It's good on the putback. Like she's on a pogo stick. Williams up for the board, down a moment, then up for the points. What energy. And here is Nurse. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Side Boyd, nurse outside, four on the clock. From deep, Oop, there's the 24 second violation, so they'll turn it over. Now here's Montgomery. Pass to McCautry. Rebound by Zowie B. New York trailing here. Here's Allen. They get the rebound. Charles, shot's good. Well, she's top 10 all time in O boards. Charles has been doing it for years, turning misses into mix. Montgomery outside. Pass to Breland. Tiffany Hayes on the wing. And it's out of bounds. The Dream able to retain possession here. McCautry outside. Launches it. Side Boyd. And it's Hayes with the rebound. McCautry left side. That one, good for two. And the lead goes right back over. What a seesaw battle we've got here. Absolutely. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can grab it. Somebody's got to take charge. Let's see how it plays out. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Allen. Great D that time from Angel McCautry. 
She's missed everything this quarter. Everything. Every shot. Every shot she's taken has been a miss. I mean, it's just been hard to watch. Here's McCautry. She has six. Here's the teardrop. And she sinks the layup. She's been one of their more reliable options today. And it's her shooting that has given them this lead. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Boyd. And it's Atlanta with the rebound. Montgomery outside. McCautry. Back to Montgomery. Six on the shot clock. Out to the left wing. It's not going to go for her. And New York will come the other way. Well, you have to like the work in the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. Kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Now here's Montgomery. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Pass to Hayes. And here's Williams. Guarded by Charles. 18 feet out. And too long on the shot. And it's New York's ball. They trail by one. Zowie B gets the bucket. And so here's Atlanta. Montgomery outside. Pass to Hayes. Williams to the middle. Here's Breland. Well, Jessica Breland is one of the top shot blockers in the WNBA, but her journey to the league is even more impressive. Before her senior year at North Carolina, Breland was diagnosed with cancer. And this is her first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. From second round pick to WNBA All-Star, it's been a long, rewarding journey for Breland. She hits the second from the line. And so it's New York with it. Outside Durr. Back to Hartley. To the wing on the left. Outside Durr. To the inside. Stolen by Jessica Breland. Brittany Sykes attacking. That falls. Great assist by Alex Benson. This is when Sykes is at her best. Attacking going fiercely at the hoop. Outside Durr, pass to right. Here's Gray. Hartley outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Gray. Over Bentley, and it's New York with another. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. Now here is Sykes. Williams can't get it to go. Down low. Durr. And there it is. They've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. You gotta imagine that their coach is very happy with that. Four straight passes leading to scores. That's just great team play. Sykes with the ball, guarded by Durr. Here's Coffey. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Here's Sykes. No good from outside. New York leading. Pass to Durr. Back to Gray. Right. Hartley. The 
Defended by Bentley. And it's Bria Hartley penetrating. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for the three-point play. Going to the line through one. When I think of players who have really improved as rebounders, I immediately think of Rashonda Gray. Early in her WNBA career, she wasn't putting up the biggest numbers, but with more minutes nowadays, she's been putting in work. And that one misses. Yeah, and Gray has certainly become more developed in the rebounding department. Now, Tim, what do you attribute that to? Well, it's the toughness Gray brings, really, in every facet of her game, including crashing the glass. Rebounding isn't something you just kind of do. You have to be committed, and Gray is. Now, here's Wright. Fast as how we be. Hartley. the basket that makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area just dominating down low and obviously that's something the defense has to address here's Bentley she hasn't scored yet that I'm sure will change Sykes with the bucket Dura with it pass to right and here's Gray. Hartley outside. Just four to shoot. Let's it go from 14. And it's Atlanta with the rebound. Here's Coffey. That's tipped. Now Hartley. Pass to right. Back to Hartley. It's Amanda Zawibi, high post. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. She makes the first. And that one falls, so she hits both of them. And Atlanta has possession. A yeah, four-point game. Yo, and here is Sykes. She's got six. <laughs> one second left. <laughs> no luck on that one. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Liberty out in front, up four. And we'll bring you the start of quarter two when we return. Ready to start up and taking a look at the Liberty performance here. Guys, what are your thoughts? I like what I've seen from them defensively. They forced a lot of turnovers with quick hands. Yeah, they've been aggressive. Those active hands producing steals early. And Atlanta has possession. Trailing by four. Bentley up top. She's guarded by Hartley. Pass to Coffey. Williams. Clock at six. Here's Sykes. The shot's good. Alice Bentley making the play. Even at 5'9", no fear from Sykes. She plays way bigger than her height. Tremendous heart. 
Now here's Gray. Now Zawi B. With the fadeaway. Rebounded by Sykes. And for Atlanta, they're still looking for that first title. Remember, they lost in the finals three times now, and it's really not an easy hill to get over. Here's Williams. Oh, and that's what they needed. We've got a tie game. Wow. I mean, come on. That's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. That's the right. That's how we be with it. Asia Durr on the wing. Great D that time from Elizabeth Williams. Atlanta with the ball. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Sykes outside. Here's Billings. Guarded by Durr. Right side, Williams. Williams controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know, they've been extremely efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now here's how we need. Six points for her. And for the dream, it shows the sustained success of the franchise. Yeah, I'm not a big participation trophy guy, Blake, but losing in three finals means you at least got to three finals, and how many teams can say that, right? But look, at the end of the day, it stings that they were swept out of all of those appearances, but I still feel like this team is on the verge of greatness. Sykes with the bucket. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Pass to Durr. Gray. Inside. Zowie B. She's guarded by Williams. Zowie B gets the bucket. Now here is Bentley. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Sykes outside. With the floater. And down it goes. Two points. She has really good touch. Sykes can drop in a floater. Helps open up things offensively for her. Pass to Hartley. Let's the floater go. Clock at four. Durr, he's guarded by Sykes. Durr, shot is off. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. Now here is Bentley. Pass to Williams. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. She worked so hard on the post moves for finishing. Williams thrives close to the hoop. Here's Durr. Gray outside. And here is Hartley. Now here's Zoe B. Yes, and it's Bria Hartley picking up the assist. Good ball movement. She put that pass in the ideal spot, and I can guarantee you her teammate appreciated it. Now here is Bentley. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Coffey. Billings. Now Bentley. Gray defending. Billings. Stolen by Hartley. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two points. She's got a great read of where out, that miss was going, and that enabled her to be the first player to it and get the putback. And the dream call time here. And we see it all too often, Finn. A good team gets up for a big game, gets the win, and then loses to an inferior club the very next night. So really, Blake, what is a quote-unquote inferior team? These are the best players in the world. Sure, some teams do have worse records. However, on any night, 
any team can step up. Yeah, and the season is a grind. You know, head coaches always tell me their biggest challenge is keeping your team locked in. And if you're not 100% locked in, good luck beating anyone. I mean, even the lower team in the WNBA. to Montgomery. McCautry. Tiffany Hayes on the wing. From past the arc. Unable to get that one to go. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Here's Allen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Pass to Boyd. Shot clock at six. Here's Allen. Montgomery covering. There's the three. Bullseye! Nails it! Running effective pick and rolls is only a small part of what makes Boyd a premier point guard in this league. Now here's Montgomery. On the wing, Angel McCautry. Can they get it? Billings and terrific work on the offensive glass as she picks up two. Man, they have got to put a body on her because otherwise, with her agility and athleticism, they're just not going to be able to contain her on the offensive glass. Not much the D can do when she gets to the bucket. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. And that one's good. Hey, an unselfish solid passer. Montgomery is always looking for the open teammate, and that's what I love about her game. Now here's Zoe B. Ten points for her. Here's Charles, oh. and it's blocked by Jessica Breland. Now here is Hayes, defended by Nurse. McCautry outside. That would have put them up. New York leading. Pass to Nurse. Here's Zowie B. He's guarded by Hayes. Good on the bucket. One of the advantages for Nurse, she's six feet, so tall for a point, allows her to get a clear view of the whole court. Now here's Montgomery. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. The second chance effort. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to the stripe for two. It's going to be on Amanda Zowie B. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send him to the line. Exactly. You want to prevent the layup, give him a little knock, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming down the lane Take the next break. time around. It does two send shots. a message. That free throw missing. Well, the New York Liberty, a marquee franchise in the WNBA. One of the chartered teams in the league, but unfortunately, they're still looking for their first title. So she comes up empty, missing both. And with the Liberty, as you said, that first championship, something they are searching for. New York has come close several times. They've played in four WNBA finals, and this team is desperate for a banner, but it just hasn't been in the cards for them. Now here is Breland. Pass to Billings. Now Hayes. Over Nurse. And it's Hayes missing. Here's New York now. Five-point lead, the biggest of the game. Boyd with it. Now here's Charles. 
Breland defending. Here's Zowie B. And so she earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact. And will shoot two. It goes on Tiffany Hayes. See, for the dream, the problem in games is rarely their defense. In fact, they're usually very strong on that end of the court. And I would say when they lose, it's more because their offense comes up short. down the first one as you said with the dream they'll go as far as their offense takes them and the team can really struggle with efficiency at times they can score in bunches but over the course of the season can end up near the bottom struggle at the line and really from deep as well no good on the second so she hits one of two to the paint that's good, and so Renee Montgomery with the assist. Possesses uh, unique capabilities. Hayes simply commands respect when she's got the ball in her hands. Now here's Boyd, pass to Allen. Back to Boyd. Nurse with it, Montgomery covering. Here's how we be. But they'll get another chance. Outside Boyd. And here's Charles. Breland defending. Pass to Montgomery. Here's Hayes. From outside the arc. Allen with the rebound. Now here's Nurse. Outside Boyd. Charles up top. Pass to Nurse. Outside Boyd. Let's lose for three. They grab their own miss. Here's Zowie B. New York, no good that time either. Yeah, I mean, that's not heads up basketball. Why try the fadeaway when no one's on you? Back to McCautry. And it's blocked by Rebecca Allen. Here's Boyd. And the layup's good off the glass. Impressive mobility from Boyd. She can be shifty when driving to the basket. Pass to Hayes. It's stolen by Kia Nurse. Now here's Boyd. He's covered closely. Can't hit from in close. Great pass to set up the land. After having a tough time in the first, She's managed to turn it around here in the second quarter. Here's Allen. Montgomery covering. To the middle. Here's Charles. That one doesn't drop. Jessica Breland with some nice D. Pass to Hayes. Montgomery. Boyd covering. Back to Hayes. Breland. And here's Montgomery. Puts up the tray. A rebound by Zowie B. Just like me, nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone like that. Here's Nurse. Yes, and it's Brittany Boyd picking up the assist. The plan worked perfectly that possession. Get it inside, get the high percentage shot. And five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Montgomery outside, pass to Hayes. Now Breland, defended by Nurse. Back to Breland. Hayes, four on the shot clock. Over Nurse. Here's Billings. And three 
chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. And so that brings the first half to a close. It's the Liberty up by six. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter after the break. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Without question, Zowie B displaying her skills today. Quite simply, she's been terrific. This is just what they need from her. And a double-double in just one half of basketball? You can't ask for anything more as a coach, teammate, or fan. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break, and we'll see if one can pull away in the third. Now Hayes. Pass to Montgomery. Tries again. And that's two points on the layup. A steady presence around the rim. Montgomery and her team will gladly take those shots. Outside Boyd. Pass to Charles. Stolen by Tiffany Hayes. It's good. And here is Boyd. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Now here's Nurse, Montgomery covering. Nurse with the bucket. Yeah, I admire Boyd's intuition as a floor general. It's almost like she sees plays develop before the defense does. Now here is Hayes. Ten points for her. Montgomery right side. away. It's off her foot. And the ref's whistling a kickball. And we're about one and a half minutes here into the second half. Williams shoots over Zowie B. And again, the green scores. Yeah, she's trying to expand her range. That's about as far as Williams will shoot. More of a around-the-bucket player, but nice to see her knock it down. One of the more physical bigs, Elizabeth is a nightmare to try and score on. She puts her athleticism on full display when she rejects shot after shot. Now here's Nurse. She's got eight. Five to shoot. And the Liberty getting another bucket right there. She has some old school to her game. Charles, not afraid of scoring in the in-between area of the court. Outside Hayes. Nice D from Kia Nurse. Yeah, we, we all know Williams is a great shot blocker, but she does so much more than that. Yeah, Elizabeth is truly a relentless rebounder. With timing and recognition, she chases boards down beautifully. Now here's Montgomery. The 
drive by Angel McCautry. Here's Freeland. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. Well versed at operating around the basket, Breland's aggressive attitude is such a key cog for her team. And this is her third and fourth free throw attempts of the game here. here to see the incredible Tina Charles in action. Former MVP, uh, she won the award in 2012, without a doubt, the leader of the New York Liberty. She hits both from the strike. And with Tina Charles, she has always been great and proved her defense recently. And the defensive improvement goes hand in hand with her rebounding. Always been one of the best rebounders in the league, but now she gives you everything you want on the block. It's just been a great start for this offense here in the second half. They're four for four right now. Atlanta trailing here. Atlanta calls timeout. Keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Sykes defended by Nurse. Here's Bentley. Hits the target from 18 feet. You just can't hesitate in this league. Bentley didn't dare. Get the ball. Fire it. Outside Boyd. Pass to Allen. Back to Boyd. Six on the shot clock. Charles with it. Breland defending. Charles with the bucket. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Great ball movement indeed. That's an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now here is Sykes. He's got 12. Now here's Boyd. Here's Nurse. Left side, Boyd. Pass to Zowie B. Yes, and it's Brittany Boyd picking up the assist. Such a great feel, such great touch around the bucket. She made that reverse look easy. Outside, Bentley. And it's Jessica Breland off the drive. Second chance shot, and it's good on the land. An agile forward who uses great leaping ability to swallow rebounds. Breland is quick off the ground. Now here's Boyd. Nine points in the game. Here's Allen. Pass to Zowie B. Add another one in the scoring column for her. 7 for 10 from the field. 
they're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Now here is Bentley. West side, Williams. Second shot opportunity. And the shot count. She's fouled. That's a chance for a three-point play. Rebounding is about a lot of things. One of them is reading angles. It's a skill that Williams has. She's getting her first free throw attempt of the game here. And the free throw, no good. Well, you look at the strengths of this Atlanta Dream Team, and it starts with Tiffany Hayes, pairing her up with McCautry, the clear core of the Dream. Pass to Coffee. Inside. Outside, Bentley. Coffee. To the paint. Here's Breland. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. As you said, the wing pair of Hayes and McCautry make for a fearsome duo. Yeah, the team looks so dangerous when both are healthy and on the floor. And these two just provide so much in terms of playmaking and rebounding. And they're as talented a wing pair as we have in the entire league. Good on the second free throw. Right with it. Pass to Hartley. And here's Durr. Defended by Bentley. Shot clock at five. Out to the wing. Here's Hartley. Misses the three. And so here's Atlanta. Six-point game to the inside. Breland, count it. Sets the tone with physical and focused play. Breland is her team's spark plug. Hartley outside. Outside Charles. Pass to right. From deep three-point range, the shot that time not on target. Jessica Breland with some nice D. Now here is Sykes, Gray defending, and that one drops. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Gray. to Hartley. Charles. Sykes outside. For the tie. And she lays it up and in. And that ties it up. Remember, she's on the court to do this. Score. Sykes can fill it up once she gets going. Now here's Hartley. Guard it closely. Asia Durr on the wing. He's guarded by Sykes. Asia Durr on the wing. New York, no good that time either. Great looking defense to throw off her shot. Yeah, turned it from a simple, straightforward run into a very really difficult shot. He's made most of the chances, hasn't she? He needs to keep on working to get these good looks. 
And the Liberty call time here. Yeah, I think the head coach saw too many easy buckets coming from inside. Wanted to put a stop to it. I would think so. I would think so. If they keep giving up the kind of easy looks inside and that they have been, they're in big trouble. Too. And they're going to change something up. Let's see what they do. Liberty Trail. Hartley, left side. It falls for her fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. Tough make. You don't end up making over 2,000 baskets like Charles without some hard work. Some players rise to high expectations, and Tina Charles is certainly one of them. After being selected first overall in 2010, Charles was the rookie of the year with Connecticut. Now here's Hartley, right outside. From deep. Here's Charles, and the layup falls. She's come out here in the second half and done a great job of finding her range. Pass to Breland. The shot's good. Alex Bentley making the play. And remember, that rookie season for Charles was historic. One of the best postseasons ever. How about this number, Blake? Charles set the record for rebounds in a season during that rookie year, making a statement. She'll be a force in the WNBA for years to come. Now here is Bentley. Here's Coffey, guarded by Durr. Here's Coffey. Back to Bentley. There's the double team with Durr. Here's Coffey. Trifecta! Even though she's more of a scoring guard, Bentley's basketball IQ helped her find the open teammate. It's Tanisha Wright on the wing. Here's Charles. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. Good pass work. The assist was right on target. Hartley brings the double team. Here's Breland. Yep. That goes. Yeah, you know how a lot of people talk about flipping the switch? Well, her switch has definitely been flipped to on in this quarter, guys. I mean, just dominant scoring. Now here's Charles. 15 points in the game. Hartley outside. And the basket is good was not phased at all by the bigger defender on her. And in the low block, I thought she might be a little phased. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be her comfort zone. But hey, she uh, she looked pretty comfortable right there, didn't she? Here's Coffee. Now Sykes. Flashing the explosiveness to get up and send that shot away. Look, Ray just, she doesn't want to let in any easy buckets. And I admire that. Atlanta trailing here. Outside, Bentley. Hartley brings the double team. Coffee. It's tipped. Well, this is a two-for-one situation, guys. Yeah, Tim, the wise move would be to find themselves a quick shot right here. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on D. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. A capable distributor who sees the floor well. Breland always keeps her head up. Hartley, defended by Bentley. Right outside. 
pass to Hartley. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. Here's Sykes. And that's not going to go. And we have just finished the third quarter, and a tight game we've got. Liberty out in front. They're up by one. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for the fourth quarter. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Slice the D wide open with this feed. Now they really had no chance to prevent this basket. Yeah, it was a great read of the defensive setup and also wonderful anticipation of the movement of her teammates before the pass. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Hartley outside. Pass to Gray, down low. Zowie B gets the bucket. They own the paint right now, 10 straight coming from the inside. They are constantly finding lanes to the hoop, getting great looks in tight. Now here is McCautry. Montgomery outside. McCautry. Here's Hayes. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. That one under. Balance is what comes to mind when I think about Hayes. She truly has a well-rounded game. And the first one drops. You know, I think Hayes still doesn't get the credit for how good she is. An underrated talent. Hayes makes a good team a great team. She doesn't care about being famous, just wants to be respected for balling. That one is no good. Yeah, I think you're completely right. When you think of her abilities, she's the perfect role player. Yeah, Tiffany serves as the eternal sidekick, you know, the perfect centerpiece for a team, and it's easy to understand why you win games with Hayes. She's just different. Now here is McCautry. Can't connect from 14 feet out. She can't get anything to drop, and the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. Back to Durr. To the left side wing. Allen, no good with the triple. She hasn't really done much on the offensive end, but she has worked within the team to help them get the lead. Here's Hayes. Softly drops in the floater. With a strong understanding of which shot to use in which scenario, a strong offensive presence is only a part of Hayes' game. Now here's Gray. Pass to Durr. Back to Gray. Here's Allen. And Breland is going to pick up the foul. That's her first foul. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Gray. Breland defending. Gray, that's good. Moving it around, eight of the last 10 points coming off assists. Nothing makes a coach happier than a display of pure, selfless teamwork. Absolutely. Now, here's Montgomery. Outside Hayes. Amanda Zawibi with the block. A nice shot by Boyd. Their crisp passing has opened things up offensively. Yeah, it makes the game easy. Ten straight points off of an assist. Um, that's impressive. Outside Hayes. Freeland 
Holland outside. Pass to Montgomery. Five on the clock. Back to Breland. Boyd on the double team. Breland with the bucket. With the soft touch and springy legs, Breland is a fantastic finisher around the basket. Outside Boyd. Now here's Nurse. Kia Nurse has doubled. Boyd. And foul called as she misses. And she's going to shoot two free throws. A California native, Boyd didn't even have to leave the state to play collegiate basketball. That must have felt good. Two shots. Shooting two. She hits both shots. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to McCautry. New York with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. And here is Boyd. Now we be with it. Nurse up top. Kia Nurse has doubled. No dice from the high post. Atlanta trailing here. Montgomery outside. Pass to Hayes. Reeland. Montgomery. Williams covered by Zowie B. Boyd with it. Williams there. New York, no good that time either. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. You can't let McCautry get going downhill if you're the defense. She's too smart and too effective when doing so. Now here's Nurse. Back to Boyd. Up and in on the layup. Shooting as well as she has from the floor in a game this tight, you just have to think that she's going to be a factor till the very end. Here's Breland. Pass to Hayes. The kick out to Williams. Montgomery. Outside Hayes. From long range. And it's Nurse with the rebound. New York leading. Hey, you're right here. And stolen by Hayes. Fast break. Here come the dream. And she finishes the break with the land. I don't think hustle is really ever in question with Hayes because her energy is pretty much always fully charged. here. So she 
picks up just one from the line that time. Look, she did the important part at the line there. Made this a two-possession game. Pass to McCautry. Tina Charles with the block. Blocking isn't all about height. It's also about timing and smarts. The good news for Charles, she has all three. To the paint. Takes the assist and Turn lays it in. Out. Picked out the pass nicely. Pardon. Hard to imagine them losing this game if they can just keep shooting it like this. Everything is falling for them this half, and it seems they're putting up points every trip down the floor. Amazing. Atlanta calls timeout. Without question, Zowie B displaying her skills today. She continues to burn them with her story. The coaching staff is going to have to come up with a different defensive approach. Sometimes I see him. I've been in the whole way. I'm in the big town. Debate about who is the greatest. What's your debate? I swear that it's always something. Get to it, I always want something. I swear that it's always something. Get out there. Zowie B. Hey, she may have missed a couple of shots, but it's been few and far between. The team is running sets for her, getting her the ball where she can operate. Love the play calling of this team. Finally, she's able to get a little redemption on the hardwood. It's been a rough stretch for her, so it's nice to see her get back on track. And here's Montgomery. Outside Hayes. Takes it out to McCautry. Six to shoot. Over Charles. Again, Angel McCautry missing. Kia Nurse has doubled to the middle. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and she'll shoot one more at the line. One shot. They didn't shoot it very well from the free throw line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them secure the lead. Pass to Breland. Now Williams. Outside Hayes, takes it out to McCautry. Just five on the clock. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. It's gonna be on Amanda Zowie B. Taking to the best offensive players in the league, McCautry has to come to mind. She led to the WNBA in scoring in back-to-back -back season. good and on top of Angel's scoring ability her effort on the glass has always impressed me me too Blake she's never lacking energy or enthusiasm when rebounding the rock and rebounding is an effort game and Angel understands that so she gets them both with multiple all defensive first team selections McCautry solidified herself as one of the league's best defenders now here's Boyd. Basket made. That gives her seven field goals and 13 tries. Very good possession. They've never lost their focus as this game has gone along. And now that we're moving deeper into the fourth, it's at the point where they add a few more points to the lead and they can put this one away for good. Absolutely. 
Here's Hayes. Godfrey outside. Pass to Williams. Offensive board. No good that time. Now here's Boyd. Montgomery covering. A nice shot by Boyd. They're going on a nice little run here. And getting to the rack has been the key. They're getting point blank looks time and time again. Now here is McCautry. Montgomery outside. Pass to Williams. McCautry. Number three, Tiffany Hayes. She can't get that one to fall. Outside Boyd. Here's Allen. Freeland defending, and she drops in the layup off glass. Since halftime, she's finally coming around. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. On the wing, Angel McCautry. Breeland down low. The game seemingly comes easy to Breeland, who is a skilled player and really adept at creating offense for herself and others. Jessica Breeland. Two shots. Two, two. That one's off. And she sinks the second. Here's Nurse. To the inside. Zowie B. And that comes off the assist by Kia Nurse. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. Now here's Williams. Montgomery up top, Boyd covering. Just five to shoot. Here's McCautry, connects on the foul line jumper. A premier playmaker, McCautry's asked to do so much for her team and she consistently delivers the goods. Here's Boyd. Outside Charles. Here's outside. From the top of the key, and the shot no good, a bit short. And Tiffany Hayes, here we go, lays it up and banks it in. Well, a quick first step is only a part of what makes Hayes so elusive. Now here's Boyd, she's guarded by Hayes. Here's Charles, good for her eighth field goal. She's attempted a dozen shots. And she should thank the D for those two points. Nobody really paying much attention to her there. The drive by Angel McCautry. Hayes. Montgomery outside. Pass to McCautry. He can't get it to go. Nice D from Kia Nurse. Side Boyd. West side Charles. Yep, count it. Time to turn out the lights on this game. Oh, I think the lights are out. Give them a ton of credit for the job they did here today. Just so businesslike, so calm, such a dominant performance. Atlanta calls timeout. Most of these incredible athletes also play in the WNBA offseason all around the world. Now, Tim, what are some of the advantages of this year-round schedule? Well, I think it really helps with skill. These players are getting more technical by the year. And the more you play, 
the better you get. It also helps expose the game worldwide. And you see everyone is in game shape. You know, they're ready to go right out of the gates when the season starts. You just have to make sure that you're getting some rest because you got to take care of your body. to Coates. Gazorla. Here's Coffee. Tries from 10. The putback. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Second chance buckets, they're always the result of hard work. Here's Johannes. Defended by Bentley. Pass to Rain Kakakunwe. That shot missing. And the dream going the other way now. Outside Bentley. Here's Coates. Here's Kazorla. Coates, that's good. Sweet piece from Kazorla leads to the open look. She's a dream to play with, a pure point. Two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Hartley outside. Pass to Sue. Right outside. Clock at four. Drains the 19-footer. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. And they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They really did show some mental fortitude. They were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that's a wrap, everyone.